Mm-hmm. Now, what's interesting about this is you also see three here. You mm-hmm. see the number three. And here we have mother, daughter, and daughter. Mm-hmm. And she recognizes that, that those things don't happen by accident. Mm-hmm. They happen because they're meaningful experiences in life. Mm-hmm. Her visit to the Palmetto State, her family, and a beautiful painting. Absolutely. And now this is principally, of course, uh, I, did you, do most of your pieces or her pieces, are they done there in your school and studio? Primarily at are 305 they, East Chapel Hill Street in Durham, right. although we work off, off location all the time with so different it, groups. I was asking only in that, were you, do you, did you watch her uh, create this piece or uh, uh, do, you, do you normally, I, as we talked about, that idea that so oftentimes there's no idea of what's going to happen what's going to be put from finger or arm or elbow to uh, to canvas there. And what Ruth Shaw said was there was the happy accident. Happy accident. The happy yeah. accident. And, and forever she was had these principles right. that related not only to, to education but to therapy but to life, most mm-hmm. importantly. Mm-hmm. And John said that finger painting was a laboratory for life. Mm-hmm. And it's there that we come, we bring all of life to our painting experience. Mm. So, yes. Yes. Well, the question there, I mean, how, how many body parts are used for a piece like that? Can Probably, you I would say, well, my guess would be fingers, fingers, arms, and right. hands. And when you say arms and hands, let's say, what, what part of the arm are we talking Very about? Very good question. Well, we'd start with the elbow. Oftentimes, we use large sweeping motions. What John would say, we're warming up the larger muscles of the body. Mm-hmm. From there, once the, the body is warm and, and is ready, flexible to paint, then we work from the elbow down the arm to the wrist or the palm of the hand or the knuckles Mm -hmm. and even experimenting with the fingers Mm -hmm. and the fingernails Mm -hmm. and that's what is so special is that you have an opportunity to become acquainted with your body as an instrument for creativity and I think that makes it special I also think it makes it special because you are literally in the paint yes you are immersed in the paint Mm -hmm. you and your mind are right there in the paint. That's Direct contact. Mm-hmm. No degrees of separation. Listen to that, Brian. A lot of fancy <laughs> wor- words, but they come out very well and they're uh, well understood. Just hearing you say that, of course, it, there was also a time, of, uh, forgive me for asking, I mean, there was a six or seven years where you were studying yoga, is that right? That, that is correct. And, and John, the, uh, so and John Thomas Paine opened that door for you. He it did. Sounds like. He did. And what was so important to that segment is that he believed that self-study was important. Right. He started studying psychology when you could read everything that had ever been written on the field, in the right. field of psychology. Right. And he said, if Freud could self-analyze, well, why can't we? Mm-hmm. So it was important for every individual to take a very good look at themselves. Right. Not in a judgmental way, not with blame, but with openness to mm-hmm. learn about themselves. And this medium, of course, is a way to do that. Mm -hmm. And yoga, too, is a wonderful way to do that. Yoga, um, the primary um, historical figure associated with yoga that I've learned is Patanjali. Mm -hmm. And Patanjali defined yoga, yoga shitta vritti narodaha, which Mm -hmm. means yoga is mastery of mind. Mm -hmm. And I believe through mastery of mind we achieve mastery of life. And we can do that through this medium. If a viewer needs to get off to work now or get family off to school or otherwise, Brian, what's the, is it fingerpainting.org is the best way to reach you all? Is there a phone number? Uh, Yes, 919-475-1355. Okay. My email address is Brian Carey, B-R-Y-A-N-C-A-R-E-Y, at fingerpainting.org. Great. Brian Carey at fingerpainting.org. And as yes. you said, 919-475-1355. Okay, great. And, of course, you, they can call and find out when you're going to be around or when you're not out of the office, excuse me, not out of the school and studio there, uh, either giving uh, seminars or giving exhibits or workshops. So yes. it's very important to make sure that you all are around and they can come by and see the, the magnificent uh, school and studio there on East Chapel Hill Street. We've got about five minutes. I'm sorry to say time is flying, oh. so we want to get into time is absolutely moving fast here. I want to make sure we highlight some other pieces. Oh, now, these, wonderful. These are, of course, two, two adults, yourself and uh, Jennifer there. You've also got some finger painting of two children. Here, yes, this is a nine-year-old. This is Olivia, and this is Jennifer's eldest daughter, uh-huh. and she um, entitled this painting Storm. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Oftentimes, and Jennifer's been instrumental in this part, um, 
we, we encourage our students, all ages, to write a story. And this is true to Ruth Shaw's tradition. So we ask her, well, tell us about the storm if you feel comfortable. And she said, well, you know, there's nothing specific about that storm that I can report, okay. except I had a dream about that storm. Right. I said, you did? And she said, well, yes. You know, in a very matter of fact, of course right. I had yeah. a dream about this storm. And I said, <laughs> wow. I said, well, did you have any emotions associated with that storm? Was it a scary storm? No. It was just simply a storm. Right. So I That's thought that great. was, that that was wonderful. That is. We also have another painting here. And this is by her oh, younger boy. sister, a five-year-old. And actually, I don't think there's much more I can say about this other than the title. The title of this painting is Mommy. All right. And here yes. we have Mommy, Mommy in, the, in the very center yes, of the painting. Yes, yes. And this, this child is a delightful child, what full of child? life, creativity, and imagination. And this child is, is what age, Ryan? This, age? At, the, at the age of painting was age five. Age She's five. now six. Okay. And this is, this is Mommy. And in a five-year-old's mind right, and in her right. life at the very center. And this painting, interestingly enough, and one of the reasons I wanted to bring it is because people are drawn to this painting. Mm -hmm. And I oh, think yeah. it's a very powerful, powerful it is, painting. It is. But to see some of the pieces there at fingerpainting.org, some amazing uh, examples of the, both of yours and of, uh, of Jennifer's there, but some w worth making the effort to check out the website in and of itself. How about examples of Ruth Face and Shaw's work? Are those currently... Um... That's a very good question. Uh, there's an organization called the Ruth Face and Shaw Foundation, which okay, you're great. probably very familiar yes, with. Absolutely. Judge Robinson Everett I know that has guy. been right. a huge benefactor in that cause, right. and it's been wonderful to work with him as a cousin of hers right. and of someone who's very passionate about her and her work and actually visited her in her studio in New York, as I understand, That's as right. I recall. I've heard that, yes. And we've been working together for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, we share birthdays. Is that right? March 18th. Yes. We, we share a birthdays. A right. few years. Yeah. But I, as a matter of fact, I had a chance to have lunch with him last week right. and, and the board of that Great. foundation. Good. And they are, they are working diligently sure. at protecting and preserving the collection. I saw in that piece in Our State, in the March uh, 2007 issue of Our State, if folks wanted to learn more about the foundation or support the foundation and the, the cause of finger painting and obviously uh, opening the doors of imagination, they can call the 919-382-2800 number, the Everett and Everett Law Firm there, but at the same time, visiting your studio or calling the studio, obviously, to learn more. Your goal is to get the word out. Is that, that right? That is, we, we want to go everywhere, right. and we want to speak to everyone, and that's what we're devoting the next seven years to, Great. is to getting the word out. Here's a very important historical figure. Let's recognize her and her work, and let's finger paint together. Let's roll up our right. sleeves, yes. paint, and have fun yes. with each other. And the Shavian technique. The Shavian technique. And the that Shavian is her technique. Yes. That is her specific, all, yeah. her specific technique. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I just think it was, it was a tragedy. And that's what attracted me to this so much is that I knew about finger painting. I finger painted when I was younger. Right. But I didn't recognize how rich the history mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how important how valuable it was to right. the individual or to a group when they're painting just by themselves or with each other. And that's what I was wondering, are the five and nine-year-olds through your workshops and through uh, seminars or other exhibits taking it in and understanding this is more than just uh, finger to canvas? Are they recognizing that they may, she may not have started planning a piece uh, that would uh, detail her mother there, but instead, uh, is this principally her fingers? Very good question, and, and I will say this, and she says this in the introduction to her first book, Finger Painting, a Perfect Medium for Self-Expression. She wrote her first book for adults in charge, be they parents or teachers, because she said, you know what, there's very little we have to teach children about finger painting that they don't already know. She said, they've been making mud pies since the beginning of time. All I did was add the collar. So what she wanted to do is to ensure that the big people were able to step away and be a supportive presence rather than interference. Right. And that's where the technique is so important. And not only for children, but people of all ages mm -hmm. and abilities. Other folks following Ruth Face and Shaw around the world, are there other people that have 
picked up the uh, the mission, much like yourself, Brian, and doing anything similar to, to help uh, further the Shavian technique? I know of no one. Is that right? I know of no one. And that was another thing that, that captured my, my imagination, because when I talked to John as their successor, I said, well, who's doing this? And right. He said, well, I am. I said, well, who else? And he said, no one else. Would you be interested? And I was like, what an honor yeah, yeah. To, to be able to work with you and right. learn about this and extend it into the future. Sure, sure. For our other viewers, of course, in Robinson and Scotland County, they're aware of Duplin County. They think of Keenansville when they're traveling down, as you did yesterday, I-40 yesterday, to come in for this morning. You conjure images as you're seeing signs for Keenansville off of I-40 there, oh. images of Ruth Face and Shaw, do you oh. think of her? Well, you know, absolutely. We were down in Face in North Carolina earlier this year right. as we travel quite a bit, talking with individual groups and, and groups at large. and. Just traveling through there, thinking about there's her home place right. and how she spent the first 18 years of her life there right. before leaving, and although she never really returned until she returned to Fayetteville in the late 60s, and of course she passed away in 1969. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's a place that strikes a chord in my heart. I bet it does. Brian, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Sorry we've run out of time. Oh, no, thank you for having me. Keep I'm, the mission alive. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Brian Carey, the founder of the Shaw School and Studio. Coming up next. Can you imagine this native of Duplin County of North Carolina there in a, a foreign country in Rome already recognizing the sincerity of her role as a teacher and as an advisor, but also as a confidant, not feeling comfortable enough to share with the parents of this child who she's working with on a regular basis and sharing with this child, we can send it back to the bucket, trying to help this child get through a tough time in his life, but knowing still her role as a teacher and as a confidant as someone who would really make a difference to folks, patients later in their lives, mental illness patients. You take that great quote from Ruth Face and Shaw, we can send it back to the bucket. Regarding the monster, and this great quote from Brian Carey in the piece, the Our State piece there in March of 2007, there's no question that her work had an enormous impact on art, education, and medicine, Carey says, and finger painting is just plain fun to boot. Shaw believed that every painting has a beauty spot. It's up to the teacher to help you find it. The beauty spot is inside you. Take the time to go online, fingerpainting.org, fingerpainting.org, or pick up the phone, 919-475-1355. Brian Carey, the Shaw School and Studio, right there in Durham, North Carolina.